Another day, another USMNT recruit. Jordan Sabatu is another name on the long list of names that has fully committed to the US of A. The Washington DC native has spent most of his time in France, where he has made a name for himself and thrusted onto the USMNT radar. The stud started his career with stud Rams in France. In the 2014-2015 season, he would go on and make his League One debut with the boys in red. A big feat for such a young man. At the time, he was just a teenager, but a teen wise before his years. The next season with Rams is when he really made an impact. In his first five games of the season, he scored three Genos and one Apple. As the season went on though, he fizzled down, all the way down to the bench. A loan was on the menu, and the next season he was loaned out to the third tier of French football, which had to row, where he immediately made an impact as he scored 10 goals in 15 games. If that's not considered production, I don't know what the hell is. Immediately, Rams wanted him back. Why wouldn't they? They tested Jordan out in unfamiliar territory and he thrived. The season that followed was magical, majestic, magnificent. This was Jordan's best year by far. Probably best year of his life. It was the best year of my life. As he notched a frightening amount of goals being 17 and also added in 7 assists to his resume. In September of 2017, he was named the League 2 Player of the Month as he scored the most goals and assists and led Rams to the top of the table. Not only did he lead his team to promotion, but also set a record for the most points in League 2 season with a staggering 88. They were basically the Bayern Munich of that division. And Jordan, well, he was Lewandowski. Jordan was in godly-like form. His value skyrocketed to north of 7 million. There was even some talks at this time coming out of France that he could be called up to the U23s. Obviously, that did not happen as you can see from the title of this goddamn video. But it could have happened, thank god it didn't. After his successful stint through the Reims, Jordan had to make a big decision. Would he stay with them, or would he leave and go to a more quote unquote stable club? After much thought, Jordan was transferred to Stade Rene in League One for a whopping $9.9 .9 million. This made Jordan one of the most expensive American soccer players in American history. In his first season with Stade Rene, it did not go the way he wanted it to. He was used as more of a rotational player, sometimes starting, sometimes on the bench, and even sometimes not even in the goddamn squad. He didn't play all that bad though when he did find the minutes. He scored 7 goals in all comps and one of the goals was on the European world stage, where he scored against Ukrainian giants Dynamo Kiev. At the latter half of the season, Jordan underwent one of the most difficult periods in his young professional career, a fatal injury to the thigh. This right thigh injury cut his season short as he was absent for 3 months. Sidelined, heartbroken, angry, sad. These are all the emotions that come to my mind when I think about what Jordan was going through. After Jordan recovered, he was still not seeing that much game time with the Frenchies. In the 2019-2020 season, he played minimal games and only scored one goal in all comps. The situation was looking dire. Every second that went by, Jordan was getting older. He needed to see game time, and a change of scenery was inbound. For the next season, Jordan was loaned out to young boys in the Swiss League. And yes, that's the name of the team. No wordplay was needed. At the start of the young boy's career, he was still finding his footing, but after a couple of games, he was heating up, almost on fire, balls back. Not only was he lighting up the Super League like a tactical Swiss Army knife, but he was also firing on the world stage, the Europa League. He scored three goals in a two-leg series against Bayern Leverkusen, a very formidable Bundesliga side, causing the Yanks in America to go rogue. We wanted Jordan, but did he want us? Time went by. Tick, 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 tock. Would Jordan join his native homeland of America? Yes, he will. On March 10th, 2021, Jordan decided to pledge his allegiance to the United States of America. Ugh, f yeah. And keep in mind, not only could he have chose France, but he could have also chose Cameroon. Truly thankful he chose the red, white, and the blue. With every passing game, it seems like he just keeps on getting better and better. 12 goals and 2 assists in all comps this season. Not bad. Not bad at all. His finishing ability and work rate is something to marvel. The US could definitely utilize this 24-year-old Don in some way. Now don't get me wrong. Am I saying this man is a starter? Ah, uh, no. 
Gotta leave that starting spot to my boy, Joshy Sargent. What I am saying is that we could definitely see this man on the pitch in the future. Jordan, you made the right decision. Welcome. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content just like this, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you. We will see you next time.